The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. Here today with Horace Bonner, O'Mafra's Soybean Specialist. How are you doing? I'm great. Great. Yep. We are at the Elgin County Soil and Crop Demo Farm here right. today. Yep. Demo site. And uh, I want to talk to you about this season. I want to talk about mm -hmm. stand establishment. But first, let's talk about how soybeans have been getting out of the ground this year. Slow and it, cold? It, it, it has been a little slower than we'd like, ideally, right? You know, here we are at the beginning of June and soon we'll be into the middle of June real quick. And the beans are just kind of at the second, third trifoliate. These ones I planted about a month ago, right? And ideally, I'd like to see them a little further along. It's been cool, as cool. long and the cold short of it. Right? And, you know, soybeans love heat, 28 degrees a day, during the day, 24 at night. Have we had that? Obviously not. Yeah. So let's talk about assessing the stands. Um, we've always talked about how to use the hula hoop method. We've got oh, yeah. some other approaches as well. Quick, let's do a re recount on the hula hoop. Yeah, so the, the way I do it is I write on the hoop how many plants equals how many plant, how many plants in the hoop equals how many plants per acre, right? So mm -hmm. here I've got written 12 equals 75,000 and right. so on, right? And of course you get that from the chart and you throw your hoop out and you do a plant count and mm -hmm. then you know how many plants per acre yeah. you have. Yeah. And let's talk about the numbers. Um, where do we want to be? Where do we not want to be? Yeah, so I mean, we try to use uh, just a few numbers to keep it straightforward. Of course, it depends a little bit on row width on planting date, on the variety, but let's just get to the basic numbers. And the numbers are 90,000 plants per acre on nice, lighter textured soils, loamier soils, right? Um, and 110,000 on heavier clay type soils because the plants don't get as tall. Mm -hmm. And so those are kind of the minimum number we feel that if you're below that, you have to really start thinking about whether you should beef that population up with a replant or just a you know another pass through. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about a method you've been talking a little bit about this winter, and that a simple method um, that needs some some math, but uh, you call it the one two three method. Take us through that. Well, it's just the basic idea of thinking about number the number of square feet in. Uh, an acre, there's 43,560 square feet in an acre. So, you know, if you have one plant per square foot, no question you replant, mm -hmm. you know, at 43,000. Two plants, you're close to that 90,000, leave it alone. Three plants, actually, you're really close to the absolute maximum you need uh, for 100% yield potential. In other words, if you have any more than that, you don't need extra. It's not right. that they hurt you, but you know, in, in our numbers, once you're in that 130 to 140,000 plants per acre, you've absolutely maxed out the potential in terms of plants per acre. Yeah. Now talk about um, you know how you you measure that uh, with using your foot. If I if I yeah. left my hula hoop at home, I still got my shoe. <laughs> Yes, right, absolutely. Yes, sometimes you've got nothing but your feet. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So my foot happens to be uh, 12 inches almost exactly. So in 15 inch rows, if I go along, you know, I know that two and a half plants per foot is equal to about 100,000 plants. If I go to four, right, it's about 140,000. So you, you got to kind of know those numbers based on the row width a little bit. You look at the chart, but at least it gives you a little indication. And the other thing, if you're absolutely desperate, you, you, you do three feet by three feet with your f feet, and then you uh, count the number of plants in that area, right? At least it's something. No. <laughs> at least you're not guessing, right? You're not guessing, uh, you're using your mind, using your feet. So final thought, Horst, um, for growers here. It, it's been cold, um, more plants coming. What, what should we be thinking as we walk around fields like this? Yeah, th so this is completely fine. We've got 140,000 here, but you know what? I think we need to be just a little more patient with some of these fields there. If you dig, there's still plants mm -hmm. coming. You know, sometimes we've seen beans come up 
six or dare I say it, even eight weeks after seeding and they're still fine. Not to say that we shouldn't be replanting if, if they're not coming, they're not coming, but a lot of these fields I'm sure will be just fine in the end. Awesome. Hey, uh, always great to have you on the Soybean School. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>